turn now to a story about a professor with a creative approach to closing the gender gap in science. Women make up about half of the U.S. population, but earn only a quarter of bachelor's degrees in physics. Mm. For Women's History Month, our Jamie Wax traveled to Texas to meet someone who is working to change yeah. that by sharing the joy of science. That's, That's cool. Ready, set, go! The way Dr. Tatiana Yurokimova sees it, <laughs> physics is real-world magic. And with a little training, all right, next. anyone can become a real-world magician. Will the potato drop? Let's check. Videos of her experiments have ignited people's curiosity online, racking up tens of millions of views over the last two years. You cannot explain much in these short clips, mm -hmm. but you can get people interested. It's a spark. You can, you can, yes, you can inspire, you get this spark. I will tell you, we filmed our demonstrations, and I never, ever put myself there. I speak funny. What's the point? <laughs> People love the way you What's speak. What's the point? No, I never wanted to be in this, in this video. Students wrote the scenarios. Students were thinking how to explain it. Students started in this video showing these demonstrations. She always wants everything to be like a celebration of science. We met three of Yurokimova's former students, two of whom work in the world of physics today. They all share a special connection to the woman they affectionately call Dr. Tatiana. You walk into Dr. Tatiana's classroom and you can tell she wants you to be there. And not only that, she wants to be there. She cares and she wants you to learn and that makes you want to learn. She never makes you feel like you have to listen, you know, like, mm -hmm. I know everything. She wants to hear everything that you have to say so that way you can create something together. Dr. Tatiana's own story starts thousands of miles away, about six hours northeast of Moscow, before the breakup of the Soviet Union. She was raised by two physicists, and she married, you guessed it, a physicist. In 1999, she and her husband Alexei moved to College Station, Texas, where they both teach today. Was it just complete culture shock, or did you know you were home? Of course I didn't feel home, but you make it home. Pressure from inside, just difference in pressure! Over the last 20 years, that home has sounded a lot like this. When she isn't teaching, Dr. Tatiana is doing outreach, blowing the minds of future scientists. And let me know! Unexpected and very excited. You were part of this study with 10,000 students and physicists and people in sciences, and the result was that men are no better acclimated towards this than women. Over 10 years, there were no consistent difference between a male and female performance on this exam scores. I felt that this is a very important message for my students. She's one of my role models and I hope... Students like Afia Danani, who came to a and after seeing Dr. Tatiana's videos. Watching Dr. Tatiana do the experiments online, especially since she was a female leader, was more inspiring for me to even go into physics. My very first semester, I wasn't at class that morning, and she, she looked at the people that, that were sitting next to me, she was like, where is Callie? Like, you need to call her right now and make sure that she's okay. I just overslept past my alarm. I was like, wow, like, she knows when <laughs> she notices when you're not there. What would you want her to know about what she's done for you? Everything that she did to push me throughout my undergrad, I've sort of learned how to do that for myself. So I can be my own advocate now because of her. What would you like to do that you haven't done? To start new programs. <laughs> To keep, <laughs> to just not stop. So, not stop. No, not stop. There is nothing wow. like a great teacher. And the next item on Dr. Tatiana's agenda is AM's Physics and Engineering Festival, which she's extremely enthusiastic about. That happens <laughs> next month. It attracts thousands of people to campus each year, and all are welcome because, as she says, you don't need to be a musician to go to a music festival. So, why would you need to be a scientist to celebrate science? Isn't that great? She's a pipeline. Oh, my gosh. I mean, just so enthusiastic. Yes, the infectious energy of this woman was just, I mean, you can see it coming across the <laughs> yeah. table at me.
It's not just the explosions in her experiments. Yeah. You know, and so many girls don't think that they're good at science or math because that's kind of a stereotype out there. Right. Yes. She is just getting that enthusiasm mm -hmm. young to increase the pipeline. It's Amazing. Yeah. As the husband of a woman who works in STEM, I will tell you that she was very enthusiastic about those results, that women are no less acclimated for sciences than men. That's a beautiful thing. That's a great piece, Jamie. Thank you very yeah. much. Thanks so much.